Hey everyone, it's Dory again, just to make another quick video, training video. Um, it's about Facebook again, um, and really it's about resizing your photos. So it's important when you post photographs um, on Facebook that you actually resize them to fit into that space. Um, and I'm going to show you an example of how different it looks and how better it, it is to resize them. So I've put a, this is my page, I've put a post on my page there you can see that post there so it's a it's a fairly large picture I didn't resize it I left it as it was and you can see how it's cut sort of half the picture off there and a bit off there it's not the full picture in that space so what we use we use a site hang on a sec let me just pause this a second I'll come back okay sorry about that just had to try and find the site that I was looking for so okay so w I use a site it's a free site and I'll show you now where we go and it's called pickresize.com and like I said it's completely free so what you do is you put if you upload a picture you then look for that picture so if you've I've uploaded a picture um, onto my computer and it's a large picture the one that I showed you so I'm gonna upload it into here and press continue takes a little minute to go through okay so you can see the picture there and it was quite a large picture now you can't resize beyond the original size or you know if you've got a picture that is let's use an example 500 by 500 you can't resize it to 600 by 600 okay you can only resize it down you can't resize it up okay so what I do is I, I got the measurements from the Facebook page um, size the post size for that particular picture area that we have on Facebook and I think it's around 400 by 383 that's that's what I use so what I do is I click you see down here make my picture I click on that and I go to custom size and I put in here 400 you see on here it, it actually comes up with a, an option estimated final picture so I, I always put both numbers in there 838 but it gives you the option there estimated final size okay so I use those measurements for the Facebook post and once you put those in you just press I'm done resize my picture okay and now you can do several things with it but what I do is I save it to my computer and you can view the image you can um, save it to the web but I just and continue editing but I just basically save it to my computer Okay, so I've saved the new size of picture and then I go back and we'll redo so you can see that post there where it's cut off because I left it as the, as the big size that I originally um, uh, took the picture at now we're going to put that post up again okay so I'm going to find that picture that we've just resized and it should be on my desktop somewhere Uh, okay. Let me just pause it for a second and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back again. I found that picture. I, I saved it into a file. Okay. So, we'll go and grab that picture that I've resized. Which is that one, I think. Properties 400 by 383. Yes, so we'll just click on that. Press open. And I'm going to post it so you can see what it looks like. we'll show you the difference between this picture okay so you can see how that fits in that size that post section or picture section I should say when you post a picture in Facebook you can see how that all fits in perfectly okay so you can see that resizing pictures is quite important when you're talking about Facebook um, and pictures are a massive massive tool um, in terms of marketing on Facebook I always most if not all of my posts will have a picture as you can see here that's a video but as you can see here I do post a heck of a lot of pictures 
Okay, now that I've made mistakes here and, and not resized them, and you can see that one again is, is not resized, it was um, cut off because there's more text underneath there. But you can see the difference, see how that's cut off, it, you can't read it all, the words aren't there, whereas with the new one that we've put in that's resized, it's all there. Okay, so it's just a quick video to show you how important really resizing your pictures are when it comes to putting them on Facebook and where you can go and do it for free. So I hope that helps you and I look forward to catching up with you again soon and giving you a bit more training on different aspects of either Facebook or other um, internet marketing. So yeah, we'll speak to you soon. Bye.